All right, so we're here. The woods. The woods. And we are looking for the mysterious Bigfoot. There's been sightings of him in the area, and we don't know what to make of them, but we are going to get to the bottom of this. We are going to go on an expedition. With me is my co-pilot, Noah Sherman, man, man, and Thomas Strubout, house, 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 milk. Those are the official pronunciations of our names. <laughs> but milk is not here yet, so we are waiting for him before we trek on this expedition. What are we looking for? Why don't you just signs, say sign, Bigfoot? What are, what are signs of Bigfoot? Signs of Bigfoot? Uh, well, <laughs> treks, droppings, aka shit. All right, uh, fur, like fur patches of fur that fall off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. From when he's scratching his back like yeah. a bear on a yeah. tree. Maybe he lays eggs. <laughs> so <laughs> we see the eggs around. Um, Bigfoot eggs. Yep, Bigfoot eggs. You know. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe he wears clothes, so we might find some clothes. A campsite. He's got to stay warm somehow. Maybe he's got that fur, but sometimes he probably makes a fire. Oh, you mean like a cave? Y yes. Yes. <laughs> a cave. Very good. Very good. Yes, you have been studying. The, the, the book I wrote called Finding Bigfoot's Campsite. Finding Bigfoot's Campsite. Yeah, it's on iTunes and SoundCloud. You think it would be? <laughs> you think it would be on like the Kindle bookstore or like? It, no, no. It's straight up where the kids are reading now on iTunes and SoundCloud. Um, yeah, those are the things. It's the way they for. read now with yep. podcasts. With podcasts. Uh, that's that's what we're looking for today. All right, so we're gonna wait for milk. Strand have so 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 milk to arrive, and then we will set off into the forest where we may never be seen again. Yeah. If, if all, you're watching this, it means we lived. If all goes well, we won't come back. <laughs> so. We can only hope. Yeah. We're being very careful. Bigfoot could come out <laughs> any moment. At any moment. So we're trekking through the woods. We don't know where Welcome we are. Welcome to the next episode of Jackass. <laughs> I'm Vortex and welcome to Jackass. I don't understand. This is extremely. Noah's funny. the bowling ball and Ryan's the pin. He's just gonna slide right down the hill. You see this tree? That's a sign of Bigfoot. You see what Bigfoot does is he strokes the tree from from tip to shaft, down the shaft to the base, and that's a sign that he's ready to mate. And you can see how all the shrubbery is cleared away from the base. That's because his feet is stomping on it as he's going to town on top. So, right there, that's our first sign that Bigfoot is in the area. Let's keep going. Why doesn't he just stroke himself? Why does he stroke a tree? Well, because he it's can't symbolic. He can't lose it, you know, before he finds a mate. That's a sign that he's looking for a mate. Yeah. Come on! Share a milk. Get, get with the program. Shawarma milk. Shawarma milk. See how it's worn and decrepit? Unlike all the other trees around, the bark and everything has been stripped away from this tree. That means Bigfoot had some rough sex here. How do you know? Because this one tree is worn and Ryan decrepit. Sex. <laughs> yeah. He also has sex, but he... I <laughs> learned from tree. studying Bigfoot mating habits. How do we know this wasn't just you, though? Because I'm not that tall. I can't strip Maybe bark you're getting there. freaky up there. Bigfoot's that tall? Bigfoot is big. No, his name is Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, but he's still tall. It's got to be proportional, you know. You know what they say about guys with big feet, though. Well, if Bigfoot they... wore shoes, <laughs> he'd have big ones. Dicks could strip the bark off trees. That's does, that's the old thing. He does thing. that with his dick. Yeah. If not his hands. Yeah. That's when he's when he's. Dear God. Just Besides swinging it around. Sound lady, lady Bigfoot, and just. Going to town on this tree. Are you oh. sure? Are you sure that like the bark rubbing off isn't from her like leaning against the tree? That's what I'm saying. Oh. It's during. I thought you literally. I thought you meant yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you know how like two bucks will like headbutt each other with their antlers. Yeah. That's bigfoot. In a tree. That's bigfoot in a tree. <laughs> you can see that this right here is where the ritual ended. You can see the markings on the tree where Lady Bigfoot was grasping tightly. And as you see, all the trees that have fallen down moving into this area, that means they came from that direction. This is where they ended. So we're going to follow down towards the base of the path and see if we can't find the cave where Bigfoot stands. <laughs> this is it. This is where it all began. You see this right here, how the sticks are oriented like this. If you look real close, you can see remnants of that condom. 
I think the real scattered here, throughout these states. The real lesson is that even though Bigfoot is going rough with these trees, he's still using protection. Yes, always use protection. But the main thing is you can look at this. You guys recognize what this resembles? No. This is a headboard. Oh! This is where the action got started. It's a broken headboard. <laughs> it's, I told you, they ended up way over there. There was some rough shit going on here. And that would explain why the condom was, <laughs> the wrapper was left here. So that means... Wait, 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 what's that then? What's that big old hole in that? You ever heard of a glory hole? <laughs> so that means they came from this direction. They met somewhere over here, which means I believe the cave will be off in this direction. Let's keep looking. I have at our coffee shop that they met at. Uh, it's a wild dog. Hello! Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot? Those dogs were clearly running from something. Something large and Bigfooty. They came from this direction. He says that to end everything. He came from this direction. You see this fence off in the distance. This area is supposed to be completely uninhabited, other than Bigfoot and the wildlife that live in the area. And that guy who has a cabin in the woods. What this can only mean is that this is no longer just a documentary on finding Bigfoot. This is the raid of Area 51. Let's get over that fence. <laughs> what the fuck is this turning into? You ever realize that ever since Harambe died, the world's never seemed normal? I, yeah. That's true. Harambe was the gorilla glue that held us all together. <laughs> Chasing Ryan through the trees. We seem to have stumbled upon a hideout for Bigfoot. This doesn't look like it's big enough to be his cave, but definitely a love shack of some sort. Is that something left droppings and marked its territory here? <laughs> It must be Bigfoot. Look over there, there's another love shack. <laughs> now it's possible that the other love shack was the decoy. And that this is in fact the true shack of love. Noah! What? my man! We're hunting Bigfoot! Probably dragged down by Bigfoot because it's a sign of civilization. It must be his Q-tip. Oh, oh yeah, it's his Q-tip. Look at the size of that fucking Q-tip. How dirty it is. Look at how gross his ears are. No. Well, it was well built. Yeah? It it's was, because Bigfoot built it. It was made by Bigfoot. He did a very nice job. Hell yeah, he did. Well, let's burn it down. To try and lure out Bigfoot, we're gonna burn down his home. So I'm not seeing any evidence of mating in this love shack. Is it just a shack shack? Shack shack? Means whatever built this thing is long gone. We may never find him. Now they're very territorial, Bigfoots. They wouldn't separate like this. Do they mate for life? Yes, but they don't live together. It's more of a friends with bene benefits type situation where neither of them could really find a spouse. So they kind of just, oh, so they have a pact where like, yeah, they, they both they reached 30 and they, they're single. They got 30 and nobody was married, so he's decided to shack up. Bump uglies every once in a while. How do you think people track Bigfoot? They track with black light. <laughs> We're just so good, we don't need the black light. We can just look for the signs. Ah, okay. You're a Bump master tracker? Things. He's a master something. How's your baiting skills? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a master baiter? I'm the master baiter. <laughs> this hole, you see, this is, this is what... In the science world, we refer to as a glory hole. I think they refer to that as a glory hole everywhere. This is where Bigfoot lost his virginity. His to the tree? Was to the tree. Hole? To the tree, yes. His first? That's awful. It's tradition. Oh, in their culture? It's Bigfoot culture. It's tradition. It's so what they do. Okay. How old was he? Ripe young age of 14. Oof. 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 Which for Bigfoot is like 800 years. Oh. Wait, are those the initials of MB? MB. Do those stand for Master Bader? <laughs> Didn't you say you're the Master Bader? Have you used this glory hole? We need answers. God, I wish. <laughs> Am I Bigfoot? Are you no, Bigfoot? MB. That stands for Mr. Bigfoot. Or Master Bader. <laughs> it's okay, he thought that Bigfoot laid eggs, so. Hey, we, there's not been proof that he doesn't. True. This must be why Bigfoot started hunting in this region. Although I think most animals that, that have sex, like, 
don't lay eggs. Mr. Bigfoot marked this tree as his first time. Started defacing these trees. SG and JH, they defiled the sanctity of Bigfoot's glory hole. <laughs> this must be why he started hunting people. Why there's been so many disappearances in this area. Why are we out here if he's hunting people? <laughs> because we are looking for the truth, Noah. In the name of science, also, we must find the, the truth. These are two more of our victims. Been missing since 2018. James and Jerry? Now this name, I don't recognize. Lee Ringy. She must be our next victim. She must be somewhere in these woods. We have to find her, or who knows what might happen. As our team leaves to make camp for the night, many questions linger. Where is Bigfoot's cave? Will they find Lee Ringy in time? And where is Bigfoot's new glory hole? Find out next time on Holy Shit Bigfoot Hunt. Mm.